Hey folks, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Playing some more StarCraft II Nova Covert Ops. We've made it to the end. Mission 9, end game. Get it? Because it's the end of the... Together with the Dominion and defectors from the Defenders of Man, Nova has repelled the Death Fleet's attack on Vardona, but Davis has taken advantage of the battle's chaos to escape from custody. Now Nova must track her down and bring her to justice once and for all. This is a fitting end mission. It is quite hard. We're going to try to preempt a lot of the attacks and see how it goes. This is about a 30-minute map, unless we want to go really fast for the mastery, which we won't. But it's a toughie. I do not take kindly to betrayal, Taran. You've made a powerful enemy today. So have you. Have I now? Your hubris is quite entertaining. Don't come back. <laughs> Nova, the Taldarim are warping out, but the damage is done. Now it will be even harder to convince the people that aliens are not a threat. That's why the Defenders of Man attacked the Protoss in the first place. Davis will go to any length to gain public support, no matter how many innocent lives it costs. Those were my father's tactics. Davis will answer for this Nova. Track her down and bring her in to stand trial for her crimes. Bring her in? We've tried that. It didn't work. There's only one way to stop her. No. I have publicly declared that Davis is to stand trial in a court of law. Bring her back alive, Nova. Yes, Emperor. <sighs> Nova, our orders are quite clear. It's been hours since we lost contact with the ship that Davis was on. But here's a distress call from the Cerro shipyards. A Dominion vessel is firing on the rest of the fleet. It's her. Get us there quickly. shipyard is a strategic point for the Dominion. Gorgon battlecruisers are repaired here after taking damage in combat. The shipyard's coordinates are classified, but Davis is aware of them, and the top-ranking defenders still support her. But what is she planning on doing? It looks like she left her ship to activate the Xanthos. It's an experimental war machine with an array of heavy assault weapons. She's going to use it to finish off the fleet. Valerian can't hold on to the Dominion without these ships. How can I take it down? The Xanthos features prototype armor plating that will repel direct attacks. But if you target its weapons individually, you can bring them offline and force her retreat. The Xanthos will be vulnerable to attack while it's repairing. They'll likely retreat to a secure area during the process. Breaking through their fortifications and striking then is your best chance to destroy it, Nova. Of course. It always comes down to me. All right, let's start with Kate. After a grueling battle, the Dominion military has defeated the Protoss invasion fleet on Bardona. Eyewitnesses claim that many of the Defenders of Man fought alongside the Dominion, indicating that their loyalty may have returned to the Emperor. However, General Davis has escaped custody, and Dominion officials are offering a reward for any information on her whereabouts. But we know where she is. All right, achievements. Kill an enemy ghost that's calling down the nuke in the endgame mission. We will have plenty of opportunities to do that. Complete the endgame mission without losing any Gorgons to the Xanthos' attacks. This one is pretty tough, but we will do it. This does not mean that the Gorgons will not take any damage. That's actually something you can use to your advantage. It does take some time for the Xanthos to destroy the Gorgons, and it will be distracted, and you can hit it from long range while it does that. So we're right here in the bottom right. There are five Gorgons along the outskirts of the map, and then all the way over here is where the Xanthos is. So we have to fight our way up there. If you want to get the mastery, then you teleport up there with battle cruisers as fast as possible. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to leave most of the equipment the same. I will use 
the Gunblade, because I said I would. It is kind of the ultimate weapon in a way. I do want to try the Ionic Force Field, but I'm going to acquiesce here and just use the Pulse Grenade. It's too good, especially in the early waves where we need Nova to solo hold off some attack waves. This mission is quite challenging. And this uh, force field isn't that exciting. You use it, it gives her a little shield. It's a strong shield, but we need some wave clear with Nova. And if we're not going to be using a different weapon, like the plasma rifle, if we're going to be using the gun blade, then I'm going to use the pulse grenade in combination with it. All right, unit technology. So what better way <laughs> to finish out this series than to use mass battle cruisers with the special ordnance ATX laser batteries. These are cool. They don't counter the Xanthos very well with the ATX batteries, but they're just too cool to not use. So this and the gun blade is what I said I would do, so this is what we're going to do. And then we'll make some ravens to help us repair, because I would recommend using the uh, regenerative biosteel if you're going to do mass battle cruisers. But here I will use the ATX laser batteries instead, and then we'll go ahead and we'll give the ravens mag rail munitions, and that's pretty much all we're going to be building. I suppose we can give... The Marauders, we start with the laser targeting system, and then I'm going to have smart servos on my tanks, and that's pretty much it, because we're going to be going mass battle cruisers, and there's just enough gas to do that on this map. All right, let's get started. As I had said, the mastery is to go really fast. The mastery is to essentially uh, finish the map before the Xanthos activates three or four times. It's like 15 minutes or so, so you have to go very, very quickly. I'm not going to do that, but I will full clear the map. As I've said already, this mission's really tough, so we gotta get right into it. The Xanthos is currently located here, Nova. Admiral Horner has positioned his forces around the docked battlecruisers. Also, I thought it would be useful to listen in on the defenders' communications again. Prepare to move out. We will die for Arcturus before we serve his murderer. Okay, gonna grab my expansion right away. So we can get it saturated. We're gonna need a lot of gas in the long run, but we obviously need minerals early because we want to get four to five ghost academies to nuke with Nova, mostly on enemy attack waves. Okay, very slowly we'll do this. We can run forward with the gun blade. Make sure we keep queuing up SCVs as well. One more time. General, it appears we have company. It's the ghost who escaped. Of course it is. We'll handle her. Say again. Okay, Fury of One, she is invulnerable, and this is where we're going to be using her grenade, particularly to repel these early attacks, as you can see, like that. It's really, really good, and we can draw them into the tanks. One more grenade. Okay, and let's head over here. I did run a marine up here to pick up these resources early. It's totally worth it. Keep making SCVs. Let's start my fusion core. We're pretty much only making battle cruisers this whole mission, and that's it. Okay, another Ghost Academy. Yeah, we'll probably get four or five of those. And this orbital command curiously starts with full energy. I don't know if that was intended or not, but uh, you get some free supply out of that. Let's kill these units that are sitting here. Nova, move back. And then we're just going to sit here and wait for the next enemy attack. Keep getting SCVs. Kind of balance between getting saturated for gas early for eventual battle cruisers. Versus having minerals early enough. Move the Xanthos out to strike a Gorgon shortly. Okay, I'm gonna move one SCV up here to start repairing. We're getting this all saturated up. I'd like to get an armory. And then I need a tech lab here. I'm also gonna get a second tech lab on this factory, because then we can swap. We can swap for add-ons, okay. My scans show the Xanthos moving toward a Gorgon. Get ready to counter it. Its weapons array is powering a flamethrower and an armor-piercing railgun. All right, so this first attack, well, the first several attacks are very delicate. We just want to make sure that we're in a position to properly kill these Xanthos weapons without losing all of our stuff, particularly the tanks because they're really, really useful. SCV, I know you're here to repair, but you're in a bad spot right now. Okay, let's just focus exclusively on the Xanthos. Okay, it's attacking the Dominion stuff. It typically targets their stuff first, which is really, really, really useful. Ow. So Nova is really useful here. Her Blaze Fire Blaster anti-air does 80 damage. Imagine that's 80% of a snipe with every auto attack against air, which is huge. Head back for repairs. We'll return with greater firepower. The Xanthos is vulnerable now, Nova, but you'll have to fight your way to it. Huh? 
Okay, so now we're waiting for more gas. Let's go ahead and lift this off and set this down so we can start more battle cruisers when we can afford them and just keep making SCVs. I'm gonna need more Ghost Academies as well. So we're gonna use Nova and the tanks and then the Hyperion will come and support us to start clearing this area out so we can get to this Gorgon up here because eventually we need to clear this stuff out to be able to defend it. So let's just siege up and just start destroying buildings and then Nova can cover them. And every time the Hyperion attacks, a large enemy attack counters you as well. And then we're going to need to move Nova back to the bottom left. Nova, this is Hyperion Actual. We're readying an assault on the Defender's forces guarding the Xanthos. Sounds like a party. I'll bring some reinforcements. Because there's another counter attack. Now we're just really waiting on gas right now. So we're going to make sure we keep an eye out for Nova because she is going to make sure that the Hyperion stays alive so we can continue to support it. I'm going to get another Ghost Academy. That puts us at four. I'd like another Armory as well. We're good on supply. I'll grab one more depot. Okay, and let's rally to this battle cruiser. Okay, waiting on that enemy attack. Let's move these guys up. There it is. And again, this is where the grenade is just it's so useful it's so 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 helpful all right stay back nova grenade it we lost one tank but that's okay that's acceptable okay and then the hyperion can really do the work here let's keep moving on up move nova up to grab these and then come all the way back down here to hide and defend us against the next incoming attack because she's melee, you have to keep an eye on her because it's very easy to lose her throughout this whole part. Okay, these two things, I guess, just come up here and help us auto-attack. We'll try to kill some of this stuff. Hey, nice job repairing that uh, Hyperion. Maybe repair my tank instead. How about that? Okay, gonna grab another armory. We got the battle cruisers being built. We're gonna move these up into position. Ready another attack. We've already taken too long. Okay, one more Ghost Academy. We're going to be nuking... We're actually going to be nuking the Xanthos. That's all we can take. Heading back for now. Say again? Okay, here they come. Let them clump up a little bit. Grenade them. Davis is navigating the Xanthos to a Dominion Gorgon. They've activated a new bay capable of deploying air superiority fighters. Alright, this bay is annoying, but it doesn't do that much damage, but it does distract our battle cruisers as they auto-attack, which is bothersome. Okay, lay, lay that down, and we'll start getting just a couple turrets to distract enemies that happen to come in and try to attack us later. I left that tank up there. That's unfortunate, but acceptable. It is slowing the Xanthos down, so I'll take that. And then after this is done, we have to be ready to support the Hyperion again. And because this thing attacks on the high ground, you have to make sure to scan before you drop the nuke. I'm sorry in advance, Dominion forces. You don't deserve to get hit with a nuke, but you're going to die anyway. Trust me. It also kills a lot of the fighters, which is nice. I'm going to Yamato the Railgun, because that's what does the most damage to our early... To our early, uh... Battle cruisers. Okay. It's, it's gone. So Nova attacked the fighter bay. And we'll just back some of these guys out as the time is right. Lost one. That was really unfortunate. That's enough. We need repairs. Unfortunate, but necessary. I'm going to grab one more starport so that we can make ravens for free repairs. Okay, I'm going to move Nova down here to nuke to support the Hyperion when it pops out. And we're going to just destroy some stuff with the battle cruisers again. Every time that this is happening, we have to be in position to follow up every single time. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to attack through this middle area and just sort of take it out as best we can. Okay, we got a lot of extra resources. I'm just going to throw down command centers so that we can scan some more when necessary and we're waiting on gas in order to queue up more battle cruisers. leading another charge against the Xanthos. You're welcome to join in, Nova. I'm not going to Yamato because I want to make sure that it's off cooldown when we need it. And this is the, these are the ATX batteries in action. Really, really cool. All right, you guys come on down here. Add on complete. You guys keep repairing. And this is where we just want to get as much done as possible. And we have to nuke in order to support the Hyperion here. The timing is kind of delicate. And we also don't want to kill the Hyperion. 
So I'm gonna keep an eye out for when... There they are. So nuke up here, Nova. Battlecruisers move on up, and then Nova flee. Alright, that was near perfect. Okay, and we're on a roll now. Let's go ahead and add these and make sure that we keep getting upgrades more than anything else. I suppose, Nova, you can attack here as well. Actually, I'm gonna send her down to pick up these and then go back to base to defend. Our battle cruisers can make some good progress here. We have enough battle cruisers that we can take out the Xanthos weapon systems with Yamato now, the ones that are the most dangerous to us. Keeping these at SCVs hot keyed. Okay, that was a great amount of damage. Operational General. Good. You are authorized to strike the enemy. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my gas now. That's as I mean it's being repaired away, but there we go. I wanna start plus three. Upgrade complete. We're gonna get supply from those command centers. Needs time to recover from that. We're leaving for a we bit. We need to Nova. assault another Gorgon soon. That ghost will use any really? delay to her advantage. Okay, we got an incoming air attack. I could nuke it. I'm gonna save the nuke and instead I'm just gonna Executing. use my use my Nuclear. grenade. He's also starting to nuke us, and this is where we can get uh, credit for that one achievement. Execute a strike now. Valerian has no right to command his father's fleet. The Xanthos is getting into position for an attack, Nova. Okay, looking good. I'm gonna start plus two. We've got a good amount of battle cruisers. We just can't. We don't want to lose them to the Xanthos. We lost one in the earlier attack. It's one more than I would have liked. Throw down the nuke. And then move the battle cruisers and then queue up Yamato's on the missile battery, which does a huge amount of damage. So just watch out for when it launches that, because that's what can do the most damage. There we go, perfect. And then uh, Yamato the railgun. Whoever still has it. Okay, and then Nova get in there as well. The fighters are distracting my shots. Gotta kill this railgun. Which battlecruiser's getting hit the hardest? We'll just warp it out where possible. Turn back. Our weapon systems are failing. Okay, I'm gonna queue up some ravens now, and we're just gonna yes. mass repair, and I'm gonna send. I'm reading you. Well, we can leave them here, and then we can mass repair. I'm gonna move Nova up to the middle because we're gonna drop a fatty nuke. We are in really, really good shape, I think. <laughs> so we just kind of keep this roll up. Especially once we get the free repairs with the Ravens up. We should have enough Nova nukes here. as well. Okay, so you all clump up, and we're gonna teleport over here and start attacking, and then Nova can move up, and we're gonna drop a good nuke. Two nukes, really. We're setting a course for the Xanthos, Nova. Hope to see you there. For the general! Okay, that was useful. Got to watch out for Yamato's. Enemy Yamato's will do a ton of damage to you, as you can expect. That hurts. Almost bad luck. I don't know where those guys even came from. There's our Ravens now. And I'm just going to clear out this whole area, and we have to defend the Hyperion. Okay, and this is where our Ravens are coming into play. They're helping us out. We're going to get more battle cruisers. I would like to clean out this top area, and then Nova will be back out. I'll feel a little safer. Let's add a few more SCVs to my repairing group. Again, it's just constant back and forth in this situation. We need to just make a little progress and then back up and prepare for enemy attacks on their way in. Okay, Nova's back. They do come from the right next time, so let's get into position for that. Okay, great. So, battle cruisers, you can sit here and get repaired. We'll wait for some more energy on our ravens. Queue up more battle cruisers. Start plus three. Over here. I can also move the battle cruisers over here to sit with her. We got a lot done there. We got got the middle section done. Next Xanthos target's going to be here, and we should be right in range for that. Should be coming any second now. We keep standing for it. Attack. Someone get swung. We need to patch up our ship. Insufficient rescue gas. Okay, and we got all these battle cruisers here to protect us, as well as Nova. Here they come. I think really just a, a couple grenades is enough to deal with this. As long as you get rid of the anti-air. 
Okay. Execute a strike now. Valerian has no right to command his father's fleet. My scans show the Xanthos moving toward a Gorgon. Get ready to counter it. Okay, SCVs going through weird areas. That's all right. Some of them made it, and we're gonna make get another Raven. And this is where we're gonna get healed up. We're gonna nuke the Xanthos again. Every time it comes out, it doesn't hurt to nuke it if you've got the nuke. So I'm just gonna do it. Okay, and then we're gonna get these guys into position. Tiamato, the missile battery, and then the rail gun, and then the fighter bay, and then back up. Again, that missile battery can absolutely destroy you, so it's very important that you go for it. Okay, now we have enough battle cruisers that we can just fly into this thing and just totally roast it. As long as we kill the missile battery. Too much damage. Fall back. Okay, we're gonna continue our roll now. Insufficient Vespin gas. We're just gonna attack straight into this area. I'll send Nova down to the middle to protect us from incoming attacks. Let's just drop a couple repair drones. Okay, make sure you scan for that. I can see him right there. That's the achievement we've already gotten a couple times, really. Okay, we're just gonna bomb our way through this base. We still have some of these SCVs we can move up to repair as well. It's getting to this. It's getting to this point. That's the hardest part. It's quite hard to get here. Horner here. My ship is returning to the front line. Okay, and queue up another group of units. We're going to intercept an enemy attack along the way. Some units come from the other direction, though, which is why we put Nova where she is. And we're just meeting up with the Hyperion here. And we'll keep an eye on Nova here momentarily. There it is. Just make sure you scan. And then you all just keep your keep your roll on. In at, uh, 22 minutes, we're gonna get attacked by another group. Got it. Okay, you can kill that, no problem. Let's just take out this these errant things, and I'm gonna warp down to Nova. Nova here. Because we want to intercept that enemy attack, which is moving towards our base at this moment. Insufficient gas. Okay, we're out of gas. Status report. Whoa. I'm reading you. Okay, so I'm going to nuke right here. We'll cover her. And then just back up with whoever's getting targeted. I'm not sure if we missed the attack. It may have gone by us, but we can just... We can warp on top of it where necessary. But I, I would like to do as much damage as possible right here. Uh, it looks like this might be the... I'm not sure where it is. Did we head it off somewhere? I don't think so. It's possible that we did. Okay, so we have to back up very soon because the, uh, the Xanthos is going to be moving out and it will stop to kill you. It'll stop to kill you along the way. I mostly just want to take out these battle cruisers and, and starports. Okay, let's go. We cannot wait any longer. Launch another offensive. Davis is navigating the Xanthos to a Dominion Gorgon. I will say this has gone really, really well so far. Let's repair these up while we wait, and I once again will nuke it as it comes in. Just to soften it up, it, it takes fewer Yamatos if you do that. I'm so sorry, Dominion guys. You're just there to die, unfortunately. There we go. So come on over here and then queue up your Yamatos. Railgun. The fighter bay is no problem. But now, again, we have enough Yamatos that this is, this is fine. The most important thing is we haven't gotten hit by any of those missiles, which can just completely devastate even a battlecruiser army. The, the reason this map is hard is you have to execute it well. We'll renew the attack later. If you don't execute it just right, you're gonna get you're gonna get toasted. Go even if you have really really spectacular macro skills. Nova here. So I suppose I'll now I'll keep Nova Executing. here. They're trying to rebuild. Ready. So let's clean this up, and we're gonna start moving up towards the Xanthos for one last time. We may be able to finish in this round. I brought Nova here because I do really want to. I think it's important that we nuke moving up this ramp. 
So let's at least do that. Hyperion inbound. We're ready to see some more action. And then we can move over to the other side to just kill some errant, some like extra errant stuff. So let's nuke right there. And now we're just we're just gonna attack as a follow up. So just run those BCs in, boy. Okay, and then we're just gonna drop some repair drones. Scan for the nukes. Get our ravens up to the front so that we can see them. He's right there. All right, Nova, why don't you come over here and just destroy some of these buildings we left behind? Which is not many. I have even more battle cruisers coming up. We're gonna probably just fully wipe this base because it's fun. And what's fun with these battle cruisers when you have enough of them is you just kind of strafe over stuff. Like this. You just kind of get close and you just wipe wipe stuff out. It's the valor of Vardona. Okay, we'll fly up here, kill the stuff in the back. Mineral field depleted. Okay, cool. And then let's just fly through the rest of the base and finish it up. The Hyperion is still here. Let's make sure that we keep scanning for ghosts. There we go. I hear him dying. <laughs> it's so satisfying. All right, let's drop some more healing. I'm reading you. I just have stuff littered around the map. I think it's SCVs. Okay, cool. Last two buildings, and then we'll go for the exposed weakness. Okay, you guys flee. So you fought your way here. You're a good soldier, Nova. But so am I. Nova, the Xanthos is transforming. This combat mode was classified, even from me. I don't know what you'll be facing. Someone get Swan. We need to patch up our ship. Okay, so it only has one attack that's quite easy to avoid. So as long as you keep moving, which is surprisingly easy with these battle cruisers. Send in the reserve. This ghost will fight us to the end. So she calls in three groups of reinforcements. I still need more forces. If we fail today, we lose the Dominion. Alright, and we just strafe. All personnel to my position. We have risked everything for this. There we go. It is done. Preliminary scans show some injuries among the crew, but Davis is still alive. However, the communications channels are chaotic. She hasn't spoken since the crash. Just send me her last known coordinates. I'll find her myself. Of course. We've done it. We've made it. Executing. Tough map. Davis should be just ahead. She seems to be alone. Good. November Terra. I knew your family when you were a child. We were all part of the same circles back then. The same side. The past doesn't matter. I have made mistakes, and I will pay for them. I know why you're coming here. You think you're going to do the right thing. What you don't realize is that if you do this, you are no better than I am. Think on that before you act. I will say no more. Okay, I thought about it. Acknowledged. Go to hell. Nova, what have you done? Nice. We lost one structure. I think I lost one missile turret. So none of the nukes landed, which means that we achieved Thunderstruck five times. The Xanthos activated only five times, so no repeats. It was just once to each location. So pretty good time there. Again, almost exactly 30 minutes. It was pretty good, and we didn't lose any of those Gorgons. So two of the normal achievements. If you want to go really fast, you turtle in your base, you make battle cruisers, you teleport behind the Xanthos, and then you Yamato the exposed weakness, and then you teleport back so you can kill it. But you only have to... Uh, I don't think you have to end the mission. You just have to get... The, uh, the Xanthos into its second phase. And that second phase, again, with the battle cruisers that can shoot while moving and shoot multiple targets, they, again, you just strafe back and forth, avoid the big laser, 
and uh, and you just instantly kill those reinforcements as they come in as well. So it's very hard to get your footing on this mission, especially because I use uh, an unoptimal Nova build. Again, I did decide to use the grenade because it helps with, with like two or three early attacks, uh, even though I never used that shield, but it's not that important because I really wanted to use the gun blade because it's neat and it was the last mission, and I really wanted to use the cool battle cruisers because they're neat and it's the last mission. I really think the self-healing battle cruisers are better because you're less likely to lose any when you're attacking. But we used the cool stuff, and the only thing we didn't use was the shield, which I think of all things is not that big of a deal. So let's watch the final cinematics, and we'll look back on this 91-part series. I know you're there now. You deliberately disobeyed the Emperor's orders. But then I knew him before he was the Emperor. When he was only the Crown Prince. And his primary interest was artifacts. I joined his Mobius Foundation dreaming that I'd invent things to astound the Sector. Instead, I destroyed my career. This is the only life I have left. The same as you. Why are you telling me this? The crew is loyal to you alone, Nova. We will go wherever you lead. The Dominion's always going to have problems. They'll need us to solve them our own way. And finally, an update on the attempted coup by the Defenders of Man. Tensions have subsided in the Dominion after Emperor Valerian regained control of the government and released all of the related evidence in a public report. Our polls show that most people feel the Emperor was justified in using lethal force against General Davis, given the danger she presented. What should we do about Nova? Hmm. Let her go. For now. Terran, Protoss, and Zerg, it has been quite the ride. StarCraft 2 has been a labor of love for us, driven by loyalty and support from our players. Thank you for pushing us to new heights and for joining us on this unforgettable journey. Good luck, have fun, and we'll see you on the battlefield. StarCraft 2, Element Team. It's crazy to think that this... This has been over for so long, like it's been many years. But yeah, this has been a 91-part series, video series, 91 consecutive days. I don't think I skipped any days. I did accidentally release the first Nova video a little too early. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm pleased. I suppose I can make the credits go faster as we watch the Griffin fly through asteroids. Do you think they could just go around the asteroid field? But I quite like Nova Covert Ops. I mean, as the story is whatever... It's kind of my thoughts on StarCraft II as a whole. The story is whatever because the maps are fun to play, and I think that Nova Covert Ops has some of the most fun concepts. They do a really, really good job with these mission packs, so it's a shame I don't think we're going to be getting more mission packs. I can't say that with 100% certainty, but I'm I'm pretty sure, as you know, the StarCraft II team has been paired away over years and years. And uh, one way I, I like to describe it is a co-op commander costs $5. Three missions of the Nova pack cost $5. Um, I, I think it's faster for them to make co-op commanders more people play the co-op mode i mean i didn't see the sales figures for nova nor can i see them for all the co-op commanders but basically the level level of effort it takes to make these maps 
Think of like the briefing screen and all the voice acting. I suppose they get voice acting for the co-op commanders as well. But there's a lot of little elements that go into making the campaign maps that it costs a lot of money. And I think compared to that same amount that they're charging customers for a co-op commander, for example, they're getting way a way higher return, like way less cost, I imagine, and a way higher return. That's just my theory on why we probably won't see more mission packs. And what that means to me was that the Nova mission pack was underpriced and or the co-op commanders are overpriced. Again, this is just a theory of mine as I look at, at these two things that are the same price. Again, three Nova missions versus, you know, one co-op commander. You, the player, seemingly are getting more from a co-op commander, more hours of play, and uh, but you're paying, you know, the same amount and then versus they're probably paying less in order to produce a co-op commander. Again, just a guess. Just a guess, just a thought, just a hypothesis. But yeah, I, I don't think I missed any days in this series. I hope you enjoyed it. The way I look at this is, uh, I talked about this at the end of Legacy of the Void in the epilogue when I said that uh, this type of series is what I made my channel for originally. Obviously, I got sidetracked, playing a lot of custom stuff, got involved in a bunch of different communities, and it's great. Um, but I've always wanted to play through StarCraft II in not a perfect way, but in a way that feels optimal, in a way that feels complete for me. Like, what would I want to see if I was watching StarCraft II? So someone can come to my series, watch it start to finish, and feel like they have experienced all of StarCraft II. All the story, everything that the maps have to offer, offer a lot of the Easter eggs. I may have missed a few, but uh, I think I, I found a lot of the Easter eggs. I showcased almost every unit type uh, in Legacy of the Void. I showcased all the different Kerrigan builds. I showcased all the Nova equipment except one mildly boring one mostly because the last mission was too hard to not have that grenade for just a couple of the enemy attacks. Um, I showcased the cool battle cruisers. You know, I, I think I showcased a lot of the most interesting stuff, and that's what's important to me. I didn't just make Marine Medic in Wings of Liberty. Uh, you know, I, I tried different things, and I think that's really important. So people who enjoy StarCraft II, if and when you replay it, make sure you just try different stuff, even if you feel a little uncomfortable with it. Because what I learned, especially in Legacy of the Void, is that pretty much everything works. Everything can work in one context or another. So just give it a shot. It's, it's really fun, and a lot of the stuff is strong enough that you can get carried through by the strength of the units. And then the same with the Kerrigan builds. You know, you think, wow, you know, Spawn Banelings is obviously the most optimal choice, or uh, Wild Mutation, obviously the strongest choice or whatever ultimate ability you choose, right? But they're, they're all viable. They're all good, and they can all lead you to victory one way or another. Because when I planned my way through those missions, uh, a big part of it was, how can I beat this mission optimally, uh, not by unit choice, but just by, you know, mechanically playing through it and, and having it not be a disaster, but by using a very specific comp composition of units that I haven't used in another map, etc., etc., or like a spear build or a Kerrigan build, Nova build... But that's it. Here we are. I guess we're just looking through space. I'm not really sure if this ever is going to kick me back or, or if I'm going to have to quit out. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Again, my, my goal was to look at this series and say for someone who either has or hasn't played StarCraft II, I suppose I did spoil some story-related stuff early, but not much. Um, I'd like to think that this, this video series provides like a full StarCraft II campaign experience from start to finish. And it's weird because I actually recorded Wings of Liberty last year in 2018 in april i finished recording all of wings of liberty thinking oh, i'll release this on a rainy day and then one full year later i started recording heart of the swarm again uh it was like, exactly one year surprisingly enough i didn't do that intentionally but i was just like hey, i'm gonna get back to this and then i recorded it and then i started releasing the videos when i was still recording heart of the swarm and now i'm finishing it uh, where I, I recorded this mission Endgame two days before it's being released. Which is funny, because again, uh, you know, I, it was 91 days ago I started releasing the series Wings of Liberty, and I had recorded it over a year prior to that, and now I'm just finishing it with no time to spare. But again, I hope you enjoyed the way I played these missions. I hope you enjoyed the series. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. This has just been kind of an off-day series. I released it one a day, but it was a relatively simple series for me to record because I'm so familiar with these missions. So I'll hit escape. We'll go back. And, uh, yeah, leave your thoughts below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. If you just want to leave a comment below, uh, just saying that you enjoyed the series or you saw it. You don't even have to tell me you enjoyed it. I just want to know how many people watched the whole thing, right? Because it's a really, really, really long series, and I had a blast recording it. 
The Defenders of Man has been defeated, and Davis is dead. Having dissipated direct order for by killing her, Nova is now on the run. Despite her fugitive status, she stands ready to lead her crew in fighting for the Dominion on her own terms. Through the efforts of one covert operative, a conspiracy that claimed countless innocent lives has been exposed and dismantled, and order has been restored. This concludes the story of Nova Covert Ops. Thank you for all you have done. We saved the sector. All right, y'all. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next series. Bye now.